Do you think your personality was an advantage? Yes, very much so. I was just being myself the whole time. Say it again, Shakira. Use what you got to get what you want. How did you hear about this? Uh, through a friend. Well, a, a former friend. No, I'm just kidding. Do you have any advice for anybody else to play this game? Never do it. <laughs> <laughs> Never do it. As a viewer, I would click on this shit. Like, I am watching every second of this game. As a participant, one of the worst things I've ever done. <laughs> How do you guys feel about games of chance? No, what do you mean? I don't trust that. Like no, rock, paper, like scissors. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, fair enough. Some people be like, that rock, paper, scissors. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> I'm throwing it out there. How do you feel about today? It was hard today. Uh, people are mean, myself included. And I've realized that when it comes to money, you're just cutthroat and you really don't care. I didn't actually enjoy this experience at all. People are very interesting. It wasn't especially comfortable. I don't think it was for anybody. Abby, you should go next. <laughs> <laughs> Using the money for a plane ticket, and I feel like you can save for that. And if you really wanted to go, you could take the bus. You can take the Greyhound. Amtrak. You could Amtrak. You could drive. You could drive. I think it got oddly greedy because we all needed it, and it got really kind of like cutthroat and a little bit mean. I felt like it got very, very catty at times. Like even me, like I'm, I'm a very straightforward, joking, open person, but it's like maybe there were some things that I said that I wouldn't normally say, and um, it's crazy what people will do for money. Like, I don't know if I deserve this. Oh! Like that's what she said. Like that's what she said it. Like, wait a minute. Do you think this game could have been played a different way? I mean, I guess a little bit more order. I felt like everyone was talking above everyone else, and it was so hard to get a word out there. You could have played that baby car. My baby ain't got no diapers. My baby ain't got no wipes. That probably would have worked. I'm out of gas That would have worked on me. So, you could have. God, it was like, who could yell louder, you know? Like, I think everybody's been in a confrontational situation, and the chemicals in your body start going, your heart beats, and, and you're hearing different things from different people. And I think nobody was trying to be malicious I don't I truly don't believe we were before the video was shooting we were all laughing and having fun together but as soon as shit gets real and as soon as you're trying to defend your life to somebody else and they're pushing it back at you it feels like you're being attacked and that is very uncomfortable that is very uncomfortable like everyone had problems everyone here wanted the money it's weird halfway through I was like I don't belong here like tearing other people apart just because I want money. It's like a zero sum game. So, you know, you have just like a bunch of people who have a this certain goal and they're trying to convince other people that they don't want that. And it's kind of crazy because, you know, the whole point is that everyone wants it. So it's kind of like a lost situation where it's like you have all these random people that you don't really know. And by the end of it, it's just like, ugh, is it over? How did you feel being the first one to get voted off? I was fine. I don't really, I mean, I don't know. What if oh, we donate the so money? Yeah. I know who needs to go because you said to, to charity, so. Yeah. <laughs> He's number one. Someone has to be the first one to go, so. Why do you think race came up? It can't not. You can't ignore one of the biggest issues that we face on a daily basis. It didn't get contentious around race until Chris was talking about how like he can't get hired because he's black. And when he said that, I was like, oh yeah, like I can totally see that happening. And then Abby came out of nowhere and was like, well, that, is, that doesn't happen. I don't see how anyone could say that. That's not legal. Because you're white. Yeah, it happens, it happens way too often. I just felt like she just cut into my soul. And I was like, you don't get to cut this black person down because that's never happened to you. And that's when it started, like, I felt like it started playing out for everybody else too. You wish this game went a different way. Um, I think it was played pretty fairly. Did you feel like anybody understood your story? Um, I hope so. It's not hard, I need rent money, so. It's not a hard story to understand. Do you think some people's pain weighs more than others? I think it's all about perspective. To me, all of a sudden, the thousand dollars stopped being money, started being like a ticket out of something really bad. And I saw that I didn't, I didn't need that ticket because I already have other ways to do it. So I don't want to say other peop some people's pain is not valid or worth more than others. It's just about the people's pain that you understand. You need to realize that 
everybody has their own struggles that they go through every day, and then yours may not be as bad as somebody else's. So that's what I learned today. I am very thankful for the decision that they made and you know, how everything played out. I, I did end up winning, and um, I just want to say something, because I don't know if the people who, were, who participated are going to see this. Yeah, it would go online. Yeah, like I am happy with the choice that was made, but I don't want to take away from anyone that your pain and your problem that you're, you're going through or you were going through at the time isn't valid. Do you have any regrets about how you played? Not at all. Not at all. I, pay, I played it genuinely and honestly. Like, I wasn't lying, I wasn't making up things, or I was just genuinely being myself and, genu and being genuine and honest. But I just, I guess maybe at some times I might have said little stingy things or funny things that, you know, without taking in consideration the person or, you know, validating what they're going through. I was just, that was just my competitive side. That's the only thing I probably wish that I would have done differently. And you don't have to share this if you don't want, but what do you plan to do with the $1,000? Um, I plan to pay bills. I plan to make sure that I have a roof over my head next month and that um, I'm going to be okay. That's what I plan to do. Yeah. Good learning experience, I suppose. It was just uh, seemed like a lot of investment. I wish I hadn't told my story because it didn't matter and now everybody knows. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, I need the money, but it's not worth feeling bad about getting it. Did you think Shakira deserved the thousand dollars? Shakira needs the money a lot more than I do. And I'm, I'm happy she has it. Are you happy with the outcome? Yes. No one deserved it more than she did. Are you happy with the thousand I'm happy that she got it. I think it was, it went to a good person. Yeah, I think you're all good people. Did you play again? No, Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs>